Hi guys, welcome to Naresh IT. This is Sudhakar, and today we are going to discussing what is stored procedure and the types of parameters in stored procedures. Okay, so now let us see now. So generally, stored procedures, uh, what exactly, and uh, why we are using stored procedures in TSQL language. Okay, so now we can see this. Okay, what exact it was. So simply, I will explain here. I will explain simply. Stored procedures is nothing but it is a block of code. It is a block of code. Okay. So like how we are going to using procedures functions in your uh, the front end languages like Java or uh, .NET C++. How we are using same to same the procedures is like is a block of code. And this code to to perform some operation, some operation, okay, on on the given logic, okay. So this is what we can say the stored procedure. But stored procedures, okay, why we are going to using why we are going to using means stored procedure. The main advantage of stored procedure what now? These are pre-compiled blocks, okay. So, what is the mean of pre-compiled? So, pre-compiled is nothing but what now? So, first time that means whenever you want to create your procedure, at the first time when you execute your procedure body, then first time it will go to compilation part. From the second time onwards, the compilations are not required. So, that means first time compilation, first time compilation, compilation of the code, compilation of the code only. Okay, so this is what the advantage of procedure. So that means I'm going to write some code in my procedure body or procedure block. Then what has happened? That code only one time compilation will occur, and from the second time onwards, the procedure body directly is nothing but code directly executed. Okay, so that kind of advantage in procedures. By this reason, what has happened? Every time compilation is not required. So whenever we need, we no need. To perform the compilations again and again, automatically, my application performance will be increased. Okay, so this is what advantage of pre-compilation. Okay, and the next one is what now the procedure advantage. Suppose I return some code in procedure block. Okay, that code is going to saved into database memory. So whatever the code is saved into database memory, that code I can reuse. Okay, so that means. The procedure block code is nothing but stored procedure block code code can be can be reused in any application like in application like what is applications are there for example in real time okay we have some applications are there like .NET or Java .NET or Java these are the some applications. So, in these applications, I can reuse my stored procedure block code. So, this is also we can say the advantage of stored procedures. Okay. So, this is what now procedure the what exactly and what kind of advantages are there. So, now, but when I am going to working with when I am going to working with the stored procedures, I need to follow the two types of parameters that is called a types of parameters types of parameters parameters of a stored procedure parameters of a stored procedure suppose if what kind of uh, parameters are there means procedure was having and procedure was supported the two types of parameters okay so one is we called as a first one we called as in r so first one is in or input parameter second one is out or output parameter. Okay. So, these are the two types of parameters are supported by stored procedures in TSQL language. Okay. Now, so now how to use this parameters means where I can use this parameter means at the time of declaration or creation of the procedure. Okay. So, how to create this procedure? How to create this procedure means we have some syntax create or else okay I want to use what now alter because why I am using alter means we know that alter we are using whenever you want to modify the structure of the procedure 
or else the logic of the procedure body there you can use a alter command okay so otherwise don't use that's why what i did here this r alter option i use in my optional bracket okay later i will go for procedure now i just send my procedure name i just send my procedure name along with procedure name here i want to send my parameters okay so now i am sending parameter so at the rate parameter at the rate parameter create procedure procedure name and we are sending parameter name okay later after parameter then you have to give your data type so which type of parameter are you declaring okay so data type data type and suppose the data type is a character then you must and should be give a size and after that after declaration of the data type of parameter later you want to send your type of the parameter so comma and so on now later simple as usual as begin and now i want to write here now i want to write here procedure body okay otherwise even the we can say statements we can say statements finally end finally end okay so this is what the syntax how to create a stored procedure and now here whatever i said whatever we said okay so whatever we said here the type of the parameter here so here i want to mention my parameter type so how many types we said here the two types of parameters are there one is we called as a input parameter second one we called as a output parameter okay so based on the requirement i can use in or out but where we can use in and where we can use out that you have to know so now we will check out okay so after that my procedure is created so whatever the procedure is created the procedure is going to storing under database memory okay so that was automatically happened once you create a procedure the procedure is automatically stored in database memory so now after procedure is created then the procedure i want to call now for calling purpose we have a syntax syntax to call a stored procedure syntax to call a stored procedure what is my syntax here excc otherwise execute or else excc then i want to send procedure name and pass your values so i am sending either value or else sending either values so this is syntax how to call a stored procedure okay now so procedure syntax we given okay and procedure calling syntax also we know and type of the parameters so now we will discuss in your syntax wherever i was taken the type of the parameter so these parameter what we said two types in and out so these in and out where i can use okay it means now come to here first parameter is what now in or we can say input in or we can say input okay so now so this in parameters this in parameters this in parameters simply we called it is a default to parameters of stored procedure okay so that means once i just passing my parameter along with procedure that every parameter it will treated and it will check like this input parameter okay so that is a default nature of procedure that's why input parameters are default parameters we can say okay so now these parameters what it will do it means that these parameters will store will store the input values okay the input values which was sent by user input values who will send here input values sent by sent by user to to processor okay so input parameters will store the input values sent by user to procedure okay so whatever the user is inputting those values are storing this is the nature and use of input parameters okay and come to next one is what now out parameter out or output parameters so this out and output parameters where i want to use it means that 
generally or basically generally or basically stored procedures are never returns a value and you know that function is always returns value but procedures are never returns value so procedures are never returns a value or value so procedure never returns value that is a default nature of procedure but whenever we want to return we want to return a value from the procedure or from the stored procedure from the stored procedure then we use then we use then we use out parameters so my point understand now so generally procedures are not written any value but if you want to return the procedure want to return a value there i can use out parameter i want to use so this is in and out parameters modes okay so now we will see one example in and one example on out okay so now now we will see one small example on input parameter okay so now i come to open my sql server management studio connect to server take new query option and suppose i will take my database for example i want to check my class okay so some tables are there here so one of the table is emp so now first i want to check in emp table what it will be there select a star from emp i am going to execute it now okay so assume like this in emp table there is no data there is no rows so now what i want to do i am going to create my procedure okay so now i am creating procedure to input values into table so to input input values into table so that means what is my question come out and see the question i am going to check okay so come out and see the question what is my question here create a procedure to input to input the employee details into a table okay now what i am question here create a procedure to input the employee details into a table so this is one small example i'm showing now so for this purpose i'm going to write a program so now i want to input employee details but in my table so my table name is what now emp but emp table was having how many columns three columns so that's what i want to do now three input parameters i want to declare okay so i'm going to creating my procedure create procedure sp in or input procedure okay and now i am passing some parameters here what is my parameters here suppose i am sending my parameters sir so i am sending here itself okay first one eid integer type and i don't want to need to mention the type of the parameter mode because by default every parameter will treated as a input parameter so that's why so next column is what now e name so e name purpose we are taking one more next one is what now sal at the rate sal is money okay so this is what now the three parameters i declare after the simple as later i'm going to writing begin and input my parameters here so whenever you want to input what now we are using insert query so now i am writing insert query under procedure block so i'm writing insert into my table name emp values of now whatever the values i'm sending now okay sending by user or input by user at execution level those each and every value storing under eid e name and sal parameter okay so now dot those parameter i'm passing those parameter i'm passing then simply end now okay so now this entire procedure i'm going to select it to execute it now procedure is successfully created and now come back here now come back here first i have to call my table select a star from emp and to execute so there is no data in table now through my procedure i am inserting values into my table so that means what i want to use execute my procedure name sp input my procedure name sp input i am sending values suppose 101 is employee id name suppose i am sending some name sai so some salary i am sending here 25000 so now what i am going to do now 
whatever the user is inputting the values, whatever the user is inputting the values, these inputted values, what is happened here? So, 101 is going to storing under the related input parameter EID, SAI is storing under the related parameter at the rate E name, 25000 is storing under the related parameter salary. And these parameters I am using in my insert query. So, insert into EMP values of EID and at the rate E name and at the rate of salary. So, that is what has happened in query insert into EMP values EID is how much now 101 I am inserting 101 EID is now SAI I am inserting SAI okay and uh, next one salary how much now salary is how much now here 25000. So, this is my query is executed internally. So, now now I am going to execute this one and see what is happen. So, one row is affected. So, one row is affected means this record is inserted into table or not, we want to check select a star from EMP. So, data is inputted. Okay. So, that means in this example, whatever the parameters I declared along with my procedure, these all parameters are called as a input parameters. So, input parameters, this is the way how to declare and how to use in my procedures. Okay? So, thank you, thank you for watching this video. Thank you.